My name is David Christie. I'm the president and CEO of Orford Mining. We are a gold and nickel explorer in uh, Quebec, hold about 1,400 square kilometers of land. So we're going to walk through our projects and the company and what we're doing. And like the previous speaker, I'm a bit of a gold bull going forward. I think we're going into a, a, a bull, a commodity market for the next few years, not just in gold, but in other metals. Uh, so I think you're going to see some good things on the commodity cycle. I will be making some forward-looking statements. I'll have you read these at your leisure. So three, three key projects we have. First of all, the West Raglan Nickel Project, very large project, 713 square kilometers of land, 100% owned by us. Uh, Wailu Metals is earning into that project. Uh, we've drilled just uh, about 2,600 meters this past year, discovered some new sulf massive sulfide lenses there with good strong nickel numbers. We'll walk through those quickly. We're in the process of our proposal for 2023 and drilling this year. Then we have our Kegavik Gold Project. This is a brand new gold district in northern Quebec, 402 square kilometers of land. No one ever explored this property before us. Uh, we've discovered some new gold-bearing uh, veins and, and rock there as well, and we'll talk about that. And then the Jatel project, which we're drilling right now. We're on our second hole, just our, our winter drill program there. We hope to get to our resource there fairly quickly. Again, 1,400 square kilometers of land, wholly owned by, uh, by Orford. Just quickly, and our share price is sitting at six cents, very inexpensive right now. Um, I think our drilling we're doing this winter is gonna bring some life to the stock. Uh, we're well financed right now. We have over two and a half, three million dollars in the bank, um, and so we can get through our programs and end and the year without having to finance. Just a quick on, on the, where we are in the map there, you see the two projects sitting up next to the Raglan nickel mine that Glencore operates. That's probably one of the best nickel mines in the world. It basically produces the nickel for free. It's a, a negative cash cost right now. Uh, it's a world class asset. They have more re the same reserves today as when they opened the mine. We also own a couple royalties in Colombia, silver royalties. Uh, we're watching those very closely to see how those the two operating companies uh, pan out there. Really good team. I'm an ex-geologist, uh, then I was an analyst and a fund manager, and I've run a couple other companies, including Eagle Hill, which is the uh, founding company of Cisco Mining. Uh, and then Alger St. Jean and Michelle Chirantino are two geologists. They're both uh, well-known uh, nickel geologists and gold geologists and uh, they, uh, they sort of run our programs and make things happen. Our board is uh, very well experienced. John McCluskey joined our board uh, not that long ago. He's the CEO of Alamos Gold. They own 25% of us. They're a very supportive shareholder. Uh, they help finance our, our, our programs. Uh, ben Pollinger is a, is a well-known geologist. He's here uh, for another company he runs, uh, ATEC Resources. And then Mark Goodman and Monique Rabideau and Lawrence Smith and Peter McPhail, very well experienced people in both the mining and the mining finance world. So where we sit, you look at northern Quebec, this is the very far the nor northern tip of Quebec, it's the Raglan Nickel Belt. Uh, you can see the West Raglan Project in the dark green rocks there, those are nickel bearing rocks. To the east of us, 60 kilometers, is the Raglan Nickel Mine and the Nunavik Nickel Mine. And then our, the Kikovic Project sits just to the north of that. It's a brand new gold district, no one ever explored it before us. We've got high gray gold across the entire project, up to 648 grams per ton at surface, um, and it's over 45 kilometers east-west. This is a very large project, and no one had explored this. We don't have 40 years of exploration uh, history to look at. You see, we have done some drilling across the project, uh, and we have found gold across the project in, in many of the drill holes. Uh, so there, there's, there's lots of work yet to be done here. Uh, we basically uh, barely touched the scratch of the surface here, uh, and a lot of work to be done. One area that we, we feel we have a, a great potential is this uh, boulder train called the Anik Boulder Train. Uh, we have some very high grade boulders in this area, up to 650 grams, 130 grams. And uh, recent interpretation of our glacial geology in the area suggests that we are being drilling too far down ice from those things and we should be drilling basically right underneath them. We had a glacial expert look at that this past year. So this next, next program, we're looking at using a RAB drill so we can drill more targets quickly. And uh, we, we believe this summer will be a, a big year for this project. And across the rest of the project, we have a number of other very high significant targets. You can see this map. These are till samples across the project. And we see lots of yellows and oranges. That means there's a lot of gold in those till samples. We have a lot of samples with uh, lots of gold in, the, in them. So there's lots of targets on the Kegavik project. It's barely been scratched to uh, the surface here. Uh, like I said, never explored before we were there. So this is a, a brand new gold district in Canada. This is a very hard thing to find. Uh, we believe this has got potential of discovering more than one gold deposit on it. 
West Ragland is our nickel project. Uh, Wailu Metals, who bought Norant uh, last year, uh, is currently earning into our West Ragland nickel project. We signed a deal with them in 2021. Uh, they have done two uh, programs of work on the project. We are the operator, they spend money. Uh, this past year, the budget was uh, well over $4 million. Um, and we're looking for another Ragland. So we're looking for that high grade, uh, 3% nickel, 1% copper type deposit. And uh, that's what Raglan is, very high grade pop deposit with platinum palladium in it as well. The model is very specific to the Raglan and the Nunavik nickel model. So it's like pearls on a string, so it's a series of pods. The Raglan mine itself has uh, 190 individual lenses in 12 distinct zones. So it's got a lot of different uh, uh, pods across it. So I call it pearls on a string type deposit. This just gives you an example of one of our, our, our big lenses called Frontier. We get to you know, up to almost 3% nickel, 1.3% copper, and three to four grams platinum palladium, as well as cobalt in there. So very high grade uh, mineralization. This is not something you find very easily. This summer we drilled uh, nine holes across the property in 2,500 meters of drilling, and we discovered a brand new gold lens, or sorry, a nickel lens at the boomerang deposit or showing, and there, this is the best intercept we've seen outside of the Frontier intercept. So we're quite excited about the potential of discovering more lenses across the property. Moving down to the Abitibi, this is our gold project in the Jatel region. Uh, we have four projects there, 260 square kilometers of land. The Jatel Eagle project is where we're currently drilling. We're drilling on the South Gold Zone, which sits right in the middle of the project, and uh, that's our focus. Just to the north and to the south of us is the Maple Gold Ignico Eagle JV and the Ignico Eagle's original gold mine, the Eagle Tell Bell. They closed that mine in 1993, and there hasn't been any work in this area really since then. We drilled three holes last year on the South Gold Zone to prove up the mineralizations that there, and we hit well over 20 meters of, of thickness of, of mineralization in all three holes, and well over uh, a one gram to two gram material close to surface. So this year the plan is to see if we can uh, delineate an ore body that's close to surface, open pitable, in the one to two gram grade uh, with uh, 20 to 40 meter type thicknesses, and that's what we're working on right now. We're just on our second hole there, and uh, it's looking good so far. We have a very good relationship with the First Nations, both in the Saliwit and, and, and Katavik area in, in Nunavik, as well as in the, uh, the area around our Chatel projects. Uh, and we work well with those groups. So just a very sum, summing up the company, we have very strong strategic shareholder support. Alamos Gold owns 25% of us. Massive land position in two underexplored gold districts at Kigavik and Jatel. Jatel hadn't seen any exploration since the 80s, and the Kigavik project is brand new. No one had explored it before us. Potential to discover what we believe are multi-million ounce deposits on both projects and a strong financial and technical partner with our partner at, uh, with Wailu at, at the West Ragland Project. Wailu is a well-financed group. Uh, Wailu is owned by a guy named uh, Andrew Forrest. He's a second richest guy in Australia and a big, big supporter of the critical minerals world. And lastly, we're in Quebec, which is pro proven as one of the most uh, safe and uh, supportive jurisdictions in Canada and uh, very supportive of mining. Of course, 1,400 square kilometers, just spent $9 million this past year, including Wailu's money. So for a little company of $10 million, you get a lot of bang for your buck on expiration here. And this year will be a very similar year. And uh, the upcoming catalyst, of course, we're drilling right now. So there'll be drill results, uh, probably get started getting some by the end of uh, February, early March. Uh, then we'll have our Kigavik and West Raglan uh, programs announced sometime in early March. Follow that up with all the drilling results from Chattel and we're at a few conferences over the next few months. Thank you very much.